Chuck Gensler. I'm the Chief Flight Instructor uh, Emeritus at Independence Aviation in Denver, Colorado. My name's Dennis Carew and I am a Certified Flight Instructor. Ken Whittakin with Promark Aviation Services. I'm Brian Bishop. I'm a retired Air Force fighter pilot and I'm just here to help out with the Pilot Proficiency Center. I'm Taylor Albrecht and I'm the manager of Crosswind Concepts. My name is Michael Phillips. I'm a member, I'm a board member of SAFE, Society of Aviation Flight Educators. It is a really awesome facility that gives pilots the opportunity to increase their proficiency in flying. And we're doing that through scenario-based simulation and trainers. You know, simulation has been given, I think, a bad name over the years because everyone says it doesn't feel just like the airplane. But the truth of the matter is, is you can get a lot done, a lot of learning done. You can dial up the, the, the difficult areas, you can make scenarios, you can repeat scenarios. You can actually crash the airplane and learn something from it, and you can do it all in less than half the cost of the airplane. So there's a lot of great learning that can happen through simulation. The FAA and the NTSB are focusing on loss of control as uh, an area we really need to improve as general aviation pilots. I've done a lot of IFR scenarios, and those people that are coming in are serious about it, they want to do it well, and they're working very hard to do it well. And when they don't, actually they get frustrated. You know, we had a gentleman come this year and he hadn't flown in 10 years. Had some medical issues, he had just gotten his medical back. He was standing out here on the floor, he really looked timid. And one of the CFIs walked up to him and just said, what's the problem? And he said, you know, I haven't flown, I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not sure I want to go in there. The CFI talked him in, they went in and did a couple VFR scenarios, and he came out with the biggest smile on his face. He was so energized about getting back into flying and really wanted to do it in a safe manner. I think this effort is absolutely critical to helping pilots to get to the proficiency level they need to get to. And the only way we're going to do that is if we're willing to help the community out by volunteering for efforts like this. Crosswind operations, landings, takeoffs are the number one weather-related cause of accidents. So if I can help make a dent in that statistics and lower the accident rate and increase pilot confidence, I'm all about that. I love to do it. I'm a flight instructor. I love to teach. I love to fly. I love dealing with pilots. And uh, so this is fun for me. It's rewarding for me to give back to the aviation community and just uh, spend a little time rubbing shoulders with pilots and again, making sure that they walk out the door with a great experience. We've got 14 simulators set up, crosswind, a full motion simulator, and 12 fixed simulators, uh, Redbird LD simulators, for people to practice a variety of IFR, VFR, stick and rudder, and crosswind scenarios. Our focus is working on at least student pilots and licensed pilots and on getting them in to fly and work on their proficiency. I just worked with an 11,000 hour pilot. Um, didn't really need much instruction, but uh, yeah, he uh, handled the crosswinds great. He knew what he was doing. And it was so interesting to watch a young person with that much motivation, with a good skill set, who had really clearly been taught well by another instructor, and to come in and watch her learn things and understand something that she knew how to do, but had no idea how all the pieces fit together until she got back and did the learn to turn. And that's really where the success of this whole pilot proficiency center is, is that we're actually helping these pilots gain a, an understanding first that simulator devices are very valuable in their training and second that they can improve and will improve if they use them increasing their safety, increasing their experience, making them better to hopefully be a safer aviation community in the future.